Hello and welcome to Metamorpheus Quick Start Guide to the Windows GUI, or Graphical User Interface. Metamorpheus is a software program out of Dr. Lloyd Smith's group at W. Madison. My name is Rachel Miller. Metamorpheus is a bottom-up Proteomics database search software program with integrated post-translational modification discovery. Spectra requirements for Metamorpheus include that both MS1 and MS2 scans are present. High resolution data is also recommended for the most optimal results, 7500 and above. System requirements for the operation of the Windows GUI include at least Windows 7 being installed on your computer, 16 gigabytes of RAM is recommended for operation but not required. We strongly recommend the installation of the latest Microsoft C++ redistributable. If you plan on using .raw thermo files, Thermo MS File Reader must be installed. We recommend version 3.0 SP2. On the Metamorpheus GitHub page, there are convenient links to get you to the downloads of both of these. We can get to the GitHub where we host our open source software program through a simple Google search. And then clicking on the link for github.com slash smith dash chem dash whisk slash metamorpheus. We will scroll down to the README and down to System Requirements. Here you'll find the links for the Thermo MS File Reader and Microsoft C++ Redistributable. If you're downloading the Thermo MS File Reader, you will need to make an account. Once at our GitHub page, you can also download Metamorpheus. You can do this here in the README, where it says download current version here, or at the top of the page, clicking where it says releases. This will bring you to the latest release of Metamorpheus. You'll see here there are multiple things that you could click to download, the first of which is being the program for Linux command line operation. For the Windows GUI, you want to click on Metamorpheus Installer. You'll notice here this bulleted list. This is the release notes, and these let you know what have been updated in this release of Metamorpheus over previous versions. So we will go ahead and we will open the installer, which will open up a setup wizard. We will click Next, and you'll notice that there are two checkboxes. The first of which, create a shortcut for this program on the desktop, is unchecked by default. But I always like to check this because I want easy access to the software program. The second is overwrite modification databases and user settings with updated default versions. This is checked by default, and we want it to remain this way. So we'll click Next, and then Install. Then we'll go Launch and Finish. And this will open up a instance of the Metamorpheus GUI. Now that we have downloaded Metamorpheus and opened the Windows GUI, we want to test installation. And we can do this back at the GitHub page through a vignette or sample databases and spectra files. So if we scroll down to test installation of the Windows GUI, we can go to this link here for the UW Madison box and download files. So here we are going to first download a search task example. Download. Metamorpheus data analysis workflows are divided up into tasks. A search task search spectra files against databases providing PSMs. It also performs protein parsimony as a post-search analysis to match PSMs to their proteins. It can also perform quantification of identified peptides. Next, we're going to download task 2, a calibration task example. A calibration task, again, runs a database search, but then performs mass calibration based on the obtained search results. 
This task produces a calibrated spectra file in the MZML format. Next, we are going to download task 3, a search example. And then task 4, a GPTMD task example. The GPTMD task, or Global Post-Translational Modification Discovery Task, runs a database search to discover post-translational modifications. It then annotates the database with these newly discovered post-translational modifications, and then produces an enhanced XML formatted database containing all newly discovered PTMs. The final task we are going to download is the final search task. Next, we are going to download databases to search against. So the first is a Unipro mouse database. Next, we are going to download a Unipro contaminant database. And then we are going to download some example thermo raw files. Now we have downloaded all of our example files from the vignette. Now I have loaded all of the files we just downloaded into this folder on my desktop called vignette files. And now we are going to add our protein databases, our spectra files, and tasks to our Metamorphous GUI. So first, we can open this file, make it a little bit smaller. Bring it up alongside our GUI, and we can drag and drop databases into Metamorphous, or we can add by browsing and opening them. You can do the same with spectra files. You can either drag and drop or add by browsing. And then we're going to add tasks. Now normally, you can go and you can create new tasks, but here for your convenience, you can just drag and drop these tasks in order. All right, and now we are going to go ahead and begin running all tasks. Now this is not necessarily a conventional workflow for data analysis. This is developed to test the installation and show you the differing search results before and after calibration, before and after post-translational modification discovery. So what are conventional workflows? The first workflow will begin with a .raw thermo file. You're going to begin with a calibration task, followed by a GPTMD or Global Post-Translational Modification Discovery task. And finally, task three will be your search task. The second typical workflow will begin with a .mzml file or a previously calibrated spectra file. And here you do not need to perform calibration again. You begin with task one as a GPTMD task and task two as a search task. Now that our calibration task has completed, I want to draw your attention to the creation of calibrated MZML files for each of the original files that were added. These now are used for all subsequent tasks. Now with the completion of our GPTMD task, we can see that we have created additional databases for searching. We have created an enhanced database of our mouse in containing all of the post-translational modifications and a GPTMD enhanced contaminant database. And these are automatically put into our protein database window. And if you'll notice, now these databases have been clicked for use and the original databases are unchecked. So our GPTMD enhanced databases will be used for all subsequent tasks. 
All right, so as you can see here, all of our tasks have completed successfully, meaning we have properly installed Metamorpheus. Now, if you wanted to look at the results of your searches and various tasks, you can find that output in a folder labeled as the date and time in the location where the first spectra file was from. This means for us that it's going to be in vignette files with today's date and time. And I have my search task, calibration task, second search task, GPTMD task, and my final search task. And all the results are in each of those files. You can also click on this little arrow for each task and see which was done and completed and what files will be in your output folder. The final thing I want to show you with our GUI is this Help tab. Here, you can check for updates. And since we just installed this today, we already have the most updated version. Updates are also checked for when you open the GUI and it will let you know if there's a more updated version that you can install. You can open the wiki page, which is on our GitHub. And this acts as essentially a user's manual for Metamorpheus. If you want to learn more about GPTMD, our search tasks, etc. You can submit an issue on GitHub which means that if you have an idea on how to improve Metamorpheus or if you've encountered a bug or your searches keep crashing, you can let us know by submitting an issue on GitHub. Clicking on that will take you directly to the issue page and you just make a descriptive title, talk about your issue, and submit. If GitHub issues aren't your kind of thing, you can email us by clicking this link. We are equally responsive to both of these methods. Thank you for watching the Quick Start Guide to the Windows GUI.